we are going to start another interesting new topic from this video. If you are interested in watching the previous videos in this course, the links are given in the description box. In the previous videos, we saw mathematical operators to add, subtract, multiply, divide, calculate percentage and so many, right? Now, we are going to see about conditional operators. Huh? What is that? It is very easy to understand. Let me explain three simple terms. First is conditions. When somebody asks us a question, we give an answer. When parents ask you a question, do you want more food? You would say yes or no. When your friends ask, do you want to go out? You would say yes, I want to go or no, I don't want to go. In programming languages also, we can ask such questions. But we won't use the word questions. Instead of it, we use the word conditions. So instead of questions, conditions. Clear? Now second is conditional operators. Like how we used special characters to do maths, we will use some special characters to check the conditions. Such special characters are called conditional operators. Okay, these are some of the special operators and we will see how to use them in the next few videos. Third is Boolean values. Since you asked a question, the programming language will give you an answer. But programming languages do not use the word yes and no. So it will give answer as true or false. So true and false are called Boolean values. So now we know about conditions, which is like asking a question. We know conditional operators, which are special characters used to check the conditions and Boolean values, which is the answer we get, which can be either true or false. That's it. Very easy, isn't it? Now let us quickly go to Python and write our very first condition and get an output. So first let us create a variable books, which is equal to two. So we write books equal to two. Now let us ask a question. We want to ask Python if the variable books has the value which is equal to two. So we write books equal to equal to two. Did you notice the two equal to signs? That is how we check a condition in Python or any programming language. So two equal to signs is called a conditional operator. When we check for equal to, we are checking if the value on the left is equal to the value on the right. So when we run this code, Python will read the first line and keep in memory that books is equal to two. Then it will read this line where we check the condition if books is equal to equal to two. Since the value on the left is two because books is equal to two and the value on the right is also two, the values are equal. So Python will give the value true as output. Let's write a print statement to see the output. So let me in the same statement, let me add print, open the bracket here and close the bracket here. Now let's save the file and run the code. So the output shows true, just as we expected. Now let me change the condition to books equal to equal to three. So basically I remove two here and put three. Now let's save the file and run the code. Now the value on the left, which is the value of books is not equal to value on the right, which is three. So the output is printed as false. Let me add another very quick factor. Like how we have the integer and string data types boolean is the third data type we are learning in python we know that numbers are called integers alphabets words sentences special characters are called strings and in the same way the data type for true and false is called boolean so now we know three data types integers strings and boolean we are learning a lot so we will continue with conditional operators in the next few videos also if you have any questions on this topic, please leave a comment and codepanel.com team will try to reply to your question. See you in the next video.